The following program contains mature subject matter not suitable for young viewers and graphic images that may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is Sydney, a typical 21-year-old with loving family, friends, and a boyfriend. Sydney was studying to be a nurse and had a bright, bright future ahead until the night of September 2nd when everything changed. It all started with a movie night with my boyfriend. He had a friend named Quentin, and he said that he was coming through. I had just told Aaron that I was going to bed. I had only been in bed for about five minutes, and then I had heard a horrible scream. I leaned up out of the bed. When I looked up, there was Quentin with a gun in my face. I had begged him, no, 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 please don't, and then he shot me. down and acted like I was dead. I waited for him to leave and then I ran out of the room to find Aaron laying there on the table. His eyes were open and there was blood everywhere. And I was on the phone with 911 and I told him me and my boyfriend's been shot. I need help. I don't know if he's coming back. And at that time, I'm telling Aaron, you gotta stay with me, you gotta fight. When I got the call, I just raced to the hospital. The doctors took us aside and said she had to get into surgery, and that she may not make it, and that we should prepare ourselves for that. I told her that I loved her, and that I knew that if anybody could survive it, that it was her. It wasn't until two days after my surgery when they told me that Aaron had no brain activity. I made sure I went up and they wheelchaired me up to Aaron. And I said my goodbyes. And then that was it. They took him off the life support. I lost my best friend and without him here, I'm lost. It started out as a regular movie night, and it ended with me losing the love of my life. My hope is that she can have somewhat of a, a semblance of a normal life, put together all the pieces of her broken heart and move on. Hold on to the people that you love, because you just don't know. It's been just a few weeks since that horrific incident. Sydney joins us along with her mother, Amanda. And Sydney, I am so, so sorry. Thank you. That you had to go through this, and yet I am so impressed, as we all are, that you're here to share your story just a few weeks after this all happened. I, I cannot even imagine the thoughts going through your head. How are you managing day to day right now? Day to day, it, we take it day by day because, like I said, I lost not only the person I was in love with, but my best friend, and to go from all day, every day to nothing. It's a hard adjustment. And Sydney, you're so lucky to have this young lady, your mom, she's had to step up to the plate for you and I can tell she's done just that. So, mom, tell us what's going through your mind at the moment. Disbelief, utter disbelief. Once it registered, I began to think, Sydney is an Army veteran, and she's been trained for situations like this. If anybody can survive, it's her. And when I saw her, and she was able to speak, even before surgery, I, I knew she's going to make it. God's going to save her.